Alexis, I'm a sophomore from Lincoln Southeast. Hi, I'm Alicia. I'm a junior from Lincoln Southeast. I'm Calvin, I'm a junior from Lincoln Southeast. And I'm Haley, I'm a junior from Lincoln Southeast. And this is our home culinary tragedy. You learn how to burn down kitchens from your parents. Like their parents before. Melting countertops. And setting fires so they burn down the kitchen. Setting fires to the floor. It was a simple recipe, not hard to mess up. Setting fires to the floor. Just three rules. You learn from your parents. Like their parents in the rubble. Setting fires to the floor. Just not hard to mess up. Just three rules. You learn from your parents in the rubble. Don't start fires you can't contain. Don't oh, cry oh, unless you expect a river. And don't ever burn down the kitchen. kitchen. You started gathering ingredients, picking up dust bunnies and screaming fights, eggs, milk, and an anxiety disorder by but 13, and, and worst of all, love. You gathered them next to the mixing bowls, the mental issues in one, and my physical traits in another. I know I needed three cups of love, but you substituted it out for something a little less real. Because it was too expensive. So I got all your so you got all your ingredients at the dollar store next to the flickering lights of the white ceiling tiles and the black swinging doors, buying them with crumbled dollar bills. You had two different sets of genetics with too many flaws, but you said We'll give you a smile and bright eyes, our fears inflicted into you effortlessly, all of our addictions and emotions. For the echo of your lives knock me down a peg, and my exhaustion was a part, part of the meal. meal. Starting off strong, you forgot the eggs to make me rise to my potential. You made me four-fifths perfection, garnished with praise you will never learn to taste. Instead, you only gag on the chunky parts of my brain that cooked a bit too much. For you put the heat on high, the ingredients in too fast. You ended up melting the mixing bowls, making the plastic stick to the stove. The milk and bitterness made perfectly. Almost making a paste, you put me in the oven and let me bake my insecurities and genetic flaws, leaving me with my half-baked humor. For now, I can't take anything seriously. For crying had no more use. You left me in the oven for too long. My self-worth burnt. Faster than my joy. You tried to save me, but it's too little, little, too late. A sprinkle on a forest fire. You took me out and tried to run me underwater, but the faucet stopped working. You left me in the oven, 600 degrees of exhalation. You kept the heat kept on building and building and building and. Building and, building and the oven exploded. Anger. When you see how I turned out, thrown against the wall. You scraped me back into the bowl, and you served me to the world on a silver platter. But I guess I wasn't the pretty dead man molding me to be, because suddenly you started to complain to everybody you served me to. That I wasn't perfect, even though I am everything you made me to be. That's when you said, Let's start the recipe from scratch. But we're almost done. Kitchen burned down. Life cooked miserably. There's, There's no, no ingredients left. You, you can't, can't start, start over. over. We, we can't. can't 